Okay, so now that we have your blog set up and we've added a post to it, the next thing is to embed this blog, not just the post, but the entire blog into your ePortfolio, your Google site. So uh, your blog will have a URL that ends with blogspot.com uh, and starts with whatever you set it up with. So you're going to actually go ahead and copy that URL. So you can just right click and choose copy. This will include the HTTP colon slash slash. And you're going to go into your ePortfolio. So if you go to sites.google.com, uh, you'll be able to pull up your ePortfolio. You're going to create a new page in there. So I've actually already done that here, but I'll just go through the steps here so you can see it. I'll set up a new page by clicking on this little icon up here. You can name your page, you know, uh, video production blog or VP blog. And... Uh, leave it as a web page and then click create. Now, I think I might have already used that name, but let's see what happens. Um, so this will just take a sec here to create the, play, the page. I've now got that set up. And over on insert, from my insert menu, uh, I wish there was just an option in here that said insert blog. It doesn't, uh, but if you go under more gadgets, so I'll click on more gadgets down at the bottom left, and in search, uh, you go into public, and then in search templates, you choose or you type in embed blogger. And if you click search, you'll notice that's the first one that comes up here. It's called embed blogger. I'll click on it and then I'll click select. Now, this will give me some options here on how I want to display this. So, uh, my name, I'm not sure where that shows up, but let's find out. I'll just call this. Uh, And for the URL, that's where you paste in your uh, URL there. You notice it starts with the HTTP colon slash slash, and then it has your full URL ending with blogspot.com. For the width, instead of choosing the pixels, I'm going to choose 100%. So I want it to go all the way across my page. And for the height, I'm going to put 900, but you might find a, a look that's uh, better. And I'm going to include a scroll bar. So if it's taller than 900 pixels or higher than 900 pixels, uh, I'll have a scroll bar to be able to display it all. And then I'm going to uncheck display title because I don't want it to say embed blogger or have a title at the top. And then I'll click OK. That'll drop this, what it'll just say Google Gadget at this point, uh, and it'll say embed blogger. But when I click save to save this page, you'll see that now I've got embedded right in my site. I've got this blog and I can search it from here, I can share it on Google Plus from here. Uh, when you come to it and you're logged in uh, to your Google account, you'll be able to even edit it from here. Uh, but when someone else comes to it and they're not logged in, they'll just see your blog post. Uh, so that way it's embedded right in your ePortfolio. You don't have to go to two different places to see all your work. Uh, so those are the three steps. Create your blog in video tutorial number one, uh, add a blog post in tutorial two, and then ultimately embed your blog into your ePortfolio in this final tutorial.